Hey amigos, Knife Detector here. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you, my friends. Man, it's been quite a work week this week. Uh, lots of stress involved. I hope you guys are taking that time to practice self-care, rest, and relaxation, my friends. That is the secret ingredient. You got to relax. You got to find time to do the things you love, the things that make you you, you know, the things that you enjoy, you know, in your life personally, whether that be your family, whether that be hobbies or whether that be staying at home, sitting on your recliner and doing absolutely nothing at all. All right. It's very important, guys, especially nowadays. There's a lot of things going on in the world. All right. Enough about that. So I want to show you these knives, guys. And and uh, one of these is going to be a little reboot because I went ahead and I purchased another one of these Salvation knives right here. You know, sometimes I've mentioned that, you know, if I really, really like a knife, I go ahead and I buy two, one to use, one to keep. I end up both end up usually at the bottom of my, you know, storage, you know, toolbox that I have. But uh, I do use this one quite a bit. We're going to talk about this one first. And uh, and this one here, it has special meaning to me. And then we're going to talk about that one. This is a Trixie and Milo knife right here. These are a little bit rare. I think there's only like four or five models of these things. Uh, Tobias, you probably got them all, don't you, buddy? Yeah, you probably do. You probably do. But yeah, I got only about... How many of these? I think I only have two of these. I think this is the second one I have. And I really like these, and I'm going to tell you why in a little bit. They don't make them anymore, but it's a company called Trixie & Milo. It's an online company, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's talk about this bad boy right here. So yeah, uh, I bought this one a while back. Uh, this is from Salvation, and uh, you know, it's a really nice elephant toe or sunfish model, whatever you want to call it, horn handle, nickel silver bolsters, and and as you can see, you know, it's already getting scratched up and nicked up because I do carry this a lot. I like this very much. It just slides in my pocket really good. This is a knife that's made in China, but of course you can see it has a religious theme to it. There's a real nice scratch, probably put by some coins I had in my pocket, you know. Here's a nice little nick, probably from some keys that I had in my pocket, you know. Um, gorgeous knife. It's got that nice cross inlay, if you like that, and I do, and... And then, of course, you got Christ right there, you know. Of course, again, the blade is dirty because I, I do use it. Um, I have a few scratches already, too. Haven't used the little blade much, but uh, the little blade uh, right here is really nice, too. It's got a passage there. Psalm 18.2, very nice. And uh, just a great knife, right? Horn handle, nickel silver bolsters, really nice brass pins. thing about this is that recently they had... Uh, uh, day in church and they did a kind of like a prayer or a blessing of artifacts right and uh, well they said to pull it out of your pocket and the priest did a play prayer and and I kind of discreetly pulled this out of my pocket and I kind of held it up with my keys and and, and I you know I, I, I had it blessed too so I really like this I'm going to be carrying this one a lot but you know sometimes I like things so much that I get two so I ended up getting another and uh here's that other so this one will stay in the box and i'm gonna go put this one to rest in a little bit but i just wanted to open it for the first time hell i don't even know what's in here it could be a rock in here for all i know you know so yeah all oh, there it is untouched pristine and there it is untouched pristine i'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy away and uh, we're going to put it to bed, yeah. You know, you know. one thing I wonder, I wonder if it has the same biblical passage. I'm going to have to put fingerprints on it just to see if it has the same biblical passage or if it's another. You know, that's, that's a curiosity I have. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same biblical passage. All right. Yeah, not bad. Okay, going back in the box, going back in the box, back in the box. And uh, I'm going to put that back in there. And we're going to set this aside because that will now be going to my toolbox. Not this one. This one is going to stay uh, with me close by because this is one I'm going to use quite often. Very nice. We're going to let that sit there for a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about this Trixie and Milo. Some of these have different type or different uh, pictures on the covers. These are some acrylic type covers right here. That one says stay sharp on that side, right? 
And on this side, it's got a skull and crossbones, like a pirate flag, right? There's another one. I think the one I have has like a pinup grill on it. And then uh, uh, there's another one with like a cat, like a wicked looking cat clock on it or something like that. Uh, there's only like, I don't know if it's three, four or five of these things, and but they're really nice. It's like a sunfish pattern. Look at the belly on that knife, right? Where did I find this? I found this at Bussy's Flea Market in San Antonio. It had a lot more scratches than you can see. I buffed some of them out. Um, these are great because they're light. I think the acrylic handles actually make them a little bit lighter. Uh, you got brass liners and the workmanship is actually quite good. I do believe these are China knives, but I mean, it's just a great looking knife, you know? And uh, the other thing I like about this is that it does have a large flathead screwdriver wire stripper. And it's got that nice big bottle cap lifter. I mean, how can you miss with that giant bottle cap lifter right there, right? So it's got those really nice features right there. Um, it's just a big knife right here. Um, this thing measures, let's see, move that rock out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. In the close position, this thing probably measures... Yeah, it's a little better than, let's see, one, two, three, four. It's a little better than four inches. It's like four and a quarter. It's about four and a quarter inches. Uh, by that same token, let's see how it compares with this one. How how long is this one right here, this sunfish elephant stove? It's about the same size, maybe a little smaller, actually. Yeah, it's a wee bit smaller, a little bit smaller than four and a quarter. Well, not much smaller little bit smaller this one's a little bit smaller and this is a bit longer so yeah you know they have slight variations some fish elephant toes but but uh, i do like them very much love this pattern but i've been wanting to show you this one for a while i got this one i was on my way to fredericksburg texas and i stopped at bussies because bussies is the place that i like to go visit you know and i always i've never come home empty-handed from Bussy's Flea Market when it comes to knives. And there was just this vendor that had so many knives and he didn't like to be picked uh, for me to take pictures. He was really uh, worried about that, but he had some rare ones and he was asking for a lot of money for some of those rare ones. But then he had this one. I'm like, you know what? That's a rare one too. Those are, they're getting so hard to find $15 for this one, guys. I was real happy to have this one for 15 bucks. Um, got a couple of others that I've already showed you in some other videos, but yeah, real happy to get this bad boy right here. So I wanted to show you this quickie video on a Saturday, my friend. So hope you guys are seizing the day. Carpe uh, the heck out of that DM, my friends. Carpe DM, you know, seize the day. Uh, make the most of it, right? I am still on my knife fast, holding strong, like I said. I still have other knives I want to show you that I've never shown you before. Um, from some very interesting banger knives, uh, a really nice Canoe Japan Romo knife. Uh, I got a uh, very, you know, very cool, large kind of old school lockback tactical Japan knife I want to show you um, that I got at a pawn shop recently. I got a really cool coat. Uh, is it a Coast? No, United Cutlery Sunfish Whittler that I want to show you. Um, I got another Rough Rider, kind of like an abalone Rough Rider I want to show you. I got a lot of cool knives coming up I want to show you, but I'm still on the fast, guys. I'm on the fast. I did not give it up for Lint. I only gave it up for a month, uh, but I'm still going to uh, stay strong as much as I can. It's been a little over two weeks, and uh, well, let's just say that I've bought a lot of sheaths, and some people say that that's kind of violating my fast if I buy knife-related products. I bought some sheaths. Uh, no knives, though. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, amigos, you take care. Stay strong, my friends. God bless you. Stay sharp.